Hi, Art here, and welcome back to Stem Cell Talks. Today we will be reporting on stem cells, COVID-19, and of course, hair. As many of our regular followers already know, there are over 70 registered clinical trials taking place around the world, utilizing stem cells to treat patients with COVID-19. These clinical trials typically involve mesenchymal stem cells, often referred to as MSCs, from a variety of sources such as dental, cord blood, adipose, placenta, and Wharton's jelly. Why mesenchymal stem cells? Because MSCs possess immune modulation and anti-inflammatory properties, key attributes in the fight against the coronavirus. Additionally, the regenerative capabilities of MSCs facilitates the body's recovery after fighting off the virus. Now these trials are being conducted by research centers around the world, such as the University of Minnesota, USC, Emory University, Gangzhou Medical Center, Osaka Medical Center, and Uppsala University, as well as established stem cell industry leaders such as Pluristem, Mesoblast, Atherosis, and Cellularity. And while vaccines focus on preventing the virus from taking hold, the stem cell clinical trials focus on treating patients already negatively impacted by COVID-19 by reversing the symptoms and aiding in the recovery. Researchers are also using stem cells to create organoids and live tissue specimens to test various vaccines and other treatment options before moving on to clinical trials. This ramp up of stem cell clinical trials for COVID pretends additional stem cell applications. Hence, as we like to say here at StemSave, the future of regenerative medicine is now. And speaking of now, before we sign off, a word about the hair. Like many at the start of the pandemic, I decided to let my hair grow out until we got back to normal. And while we are not back to the old normal, we have achieved a new normal. And so the next time you see me, I will be back to my old clean shaven self, which as you can see, is a choice. That's it for today. Don't forget to like us and to subscribe. Stay safe and we'll see you again soon.